Hi golfers, welcome to Stevenage Golf Centre. My name is Matt from MB Golf Pro, and today we're in the two teaching studio and we're going to look at Titans Pro V1 and Pro V1 X. Now this year the balls are meant to be a lot closer together than they've ever previously been. Um, Titus Pro V1 explaining that it's got a new longer distance of penetrating ball flight, um, a more consistent flight, a very soft field and drop and stop performance. Pro V1 X, um, extraordinary distance, higher launch, uh, new consistent ball flight, soft field and again drop and stop uh, control. So that's the explanation from Titus and what they think about their golf ball. I'm going to put them through their paces and see how they come out with number wise. Um, currently and previous years I've always played Pro V1. Um, I have been experimenting with Pro V1 X this year. Um, so from a personal point of view it would be interesting to see the numbers and if that will sway my decision on which golf ball I play for the rest of the season. Okay, so what we're going to start with first, we're going to hit some 65 yard um, pitch shots with my lob wedge. Uh, I don't think there's any point in hitting some full, wedge, uh, full lob wedge because uh, obviously they're both going to spin pretty well. Uh, but those sort of half, three quarter length shots with the lob wedge, uh, I want to see how they perform differently. So we hit a few of each, uh, each ball and um, we'll check the numbers again. Um, I put a, a dot on the HMT um, so we can get some comparisons with the club head speed and make sure that they're pretty similar strikes. So let's see how we are. This is Pro V1 to start with. Um, 67 yards carrying, uh, 69 yards total there. So this time Pro V1 uh, 7 iron. Uh, I've finally got my Cobra Forge one minute client. Um, so I'll hit some 7 irons to start off with. Um, and in the F7 version, it's even easier. It's just so nice to swing it. 
a four iron head and a seven iron shaft, but it was so much control over the ball. So, from the numbers, a very similar golf ball, and, and we did expect that they would become closer than they've ever been before. Um, all the numbers are very, very similar. For whatever reason, I was swinging it slightly faster with the club head, uh, with the Pro V1X. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if that made a difference subconsciously because I'm thinking it's a slightly harder golf ball, I don't know. Um, but in terms of launch and spin and uh, falling out of the sky angle and, and stuff like that. They are very, very similar. Um, Pro V1X definitely has a slightly firmer feel than Pro V1. Um, I've played Pro V1 for many years and I would actually consider jumping across to Pro V1X um, just because I quite like the, the firmer feel um, than Pro V1. But it's not as hard as maybe previous Pro V1 X's, which is maybe why I quite like it. It's uh, just coming a little bit closer to Pro V1, uh, but with better launch um, and spin with the driver. The driver definitely further with Pro V1 X. Um, but I'd be happy to play either one as I have done for many years. Um, whatever one you decide to go for, um, you know you're going to get a premium golf. All the titles are the number one ball in golf. Um, and just test them out. That's anything I can suggest. Go and play with some, get a sleeve of each, maybe go and try them out from the front line or back line and see which one works for you. Um, but my point of view, I am going to go with Pro V1 X this year. Uh, I made my decision and we're going to see how we get on. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on other platforms, Twitter and Instagram, MB underscore golf underscore pro and at Steve Golf. And uh, we'd love to see you soon. Look forward to sharing some more videos with you in the future.